Well, hello all of you out there in TV land. It's time for another episode of Trippy Food and another installment of Viewer's Choice. So today's Viewer Choice comes from Uraraka Ochoko, Ochoko, I think that's right, who actually, uh, as it turns out, is my granddaughter Haley. But anyway, she requested this. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make frozen jello. Now, uh, I uh, kind of spoke with her over the phone today and she said that the way she makes it uh, is different each time. So she's trying different things, trying to make it di different each time. I'm gonna go by what I saw online. Now, apparently this all started from a TikTok video and everybody else is copying the TikTok video. So I kind of got recipes for it and followed uh, some general recipes and kind of Average it out and so what it uh, what it works out to be is you basically doing it the same way you would make regular jello except the cold water that you add you use half and then you put it in the in the freezer instead of the refrigerator so we're gonna do that you maybe wait about four hours we'll probably do that maybe wait a little bit longer if we want to so she said that her favorite is she said red strawberry slash cherry so I tried to find strawberry slash cherry, and I tried to find strawberry and cherry, and I couldn't find both or the combination. So I just got strawberry. We're gonna do strawberry for her. And then I thought I would do another, just an interesting or different flavor. And so I got this bottle of rose water. If you're looking for rose water, you can usually get that in any Mediterranean, Middle Eastern, or Indian grocery. They're gonna have this. So we're gonna make it with a rose water. I'm gonna actually test the rose water first to see how sweet it and how strong it is. Because this said it's concentrated. There's really not a lot of any text on here in English or a whole lot that tells you anything about this. All I know is that it's made from roses, it's concentrated, and it's, in, it's suspended in water. Now, this is obviously gonna be red. I, I'm gonna go for pink for the rose. So I'm gonna add a little bit of food color because this is obviously clear. And the gelatin itself is clear. I'm gonna add a little bit of food color, a little bit of red food color. If I go a little bit too much on the food coloring and it turns out to be red like the strawberry, then I'll add something else to it to make it you know, purple or green or you know, some other color, orange maybe, all right? So we're gonna kinda get started. Now, one of the things that most of the recipes recommend is that you use a silicone uh, ice tray, silicone ice tray. And uh, it's because of the flexibility. So otherwise, if you use a regular like hard ice, hard plastic ice tray, you're gonna, it's gonna be hard to get it out. So I don't have an ice tray, but I do have this candy mold for chocolates, and I'm gonna go ahead and use that. So it's gonna make little bite-sized ones, which might be okay. So we're gonna, let's start with a traditional one. Let me put this aside here. And uh, again, for the traditional one, I'm just using regular unflavored gelatin for that. Now, for those who don't know what Jello is or what gelatin is, is gelatin is a byproduct of cooking down animal carcasses. I mean, that's literally what it is. I, I believe that now there's a vegan version of it, and I'm not sure what they use is something that produces collagen naturally, but typically in the past, it's been uh, done by boiling down animal carcasses. Now, General Foods in Woburn, Massachusetts, I used to live maybe like three, four blocks from there, and the smell was horrible because apparently what they do is they would boil down the carcasses and they would just dump them out in the back. And, uh, and so the smell was terrible. Uh, it's not there anymore. Now I think there's like apartment complexes, something like that there, but the smell, the smell used to be terrible. Uh, if you, for a better understanding of kind of what this is, if you've ever made like a whole ham and then after you're done, you put it in the refrigerator and then the next day you take it out of the refrigerator and it has that kind of jelly all over it, that's, that's essentially what this is. So we're gonna go ahead and start that. Now the instructions on here say, add boiling water to gelatin mix and stir two minutes until completely dissolved. So again, our hot water is the same, the cold water is by half. So let's get started and heat up some water. I'm gonna use one tray for each. I'm probably not gonna use all the jello. And what I might do, well, we'll see. Now, it smells like strawberry, but it says artificial flavor. So, okay, so we want one cup of hot water. Ooh, 
that turns blood red. And now we're gonna stir this until it dissolves. Yeah, I think we got it, okay. So now I'm gonna add, again, this called for one cup of cold water. I'm gonna use a half a cup of cold water. Stir that in. Okay, now I'm just gonna let that sit over here for a second. I don't have to worry too much about that starting to set because it has to be in the refrigerator, it has to be really, really cold to start setting. So I'm just gonna let it sit there for a second while I get the other one ready. So I'm gonna use, again, one packet of this. Normally you would use all four packets in this package. We're gonna only use one. You really don't wanna make that much of it. I didn't have a choice with the Jello. All right, that's clear. So we're gonna do four envelopes, one cup of cold juice. So we're gonna use a quarter of a cup of the rose water. Let's see, sprinkle gelatin over cold juice. Well, it's a little too late for that now. I'm gonna put the cold juice over that. And I have to add hot juice to that. And the hot juice is three cups. So that's gonna be three quarters, three quarters of a cup. So let's get this started. It's actually just kind of oily. Okay, you got that off. Ooh, it, yeah, it definitely smells like roses. I'm gonna taste test just a little bit of this. It's kind of subtle. I've eaten rose petals before, I know what they taste like. It's kind of subtle, okay. So I want, I want uh, one quarter cup this. And the rest, I'm going to heat up on the stove. strawberry off there. We're gonna add the hot juice until it dissolves. Now, I don't, again, I don't know what's in the rose water, so I don't know if there's sugar in there. I'm just gonna add a tiny, tiny little bit of honey. And that will melt with the, the hot rose water. Okay, I'm gonna add my food coloring. And again, I'm gonna put just a drop of red in there to get it kind of pink. Let's see if that works. The uh, strawberry is really red, so it shouldn't be too much. I think one drop should do it. See, one drop made it. Well, okay, it's gonna be pinkish. I think it's gonna work. When, I think when we add the hot water to that, that'll make, lighten up that color even more. Okay, that's boiling now. And again, I want three quarters of a cup of this. There we go. Stir that until it's all dissolved. Yeah, I think the pink color of this, it's definitely going to be different than the strawberry one, so we should be able to tell the two apart. Okay, I'm gonna let that one sit a little bit. Let's get ready to pour the strawberry one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the strawberry in the measuring cup so that I can pour it out easier. All right, here we go. What, what, what kind of worries me a little bit is lifting this thing up afterwards. I wanna get something 
sort of solid to put underneath it. I think maybe this will work. There we go. Let's see if I can do this without making a total mess. I know, I doubt it too. All right, so I'm gonna pop this in the freezer. I'll be right back. And now we wait. So I'll be back with you much later. Well, all right, it's the next day. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Val, you're wearing the same clothes and it's the next day. Yeah, well, just deal with it. So uh, we left that overnight. They came out, they look kind of odd. They look like ice cubes, but the thing is that they say that they're really not frozen uh, and they won't melt, but we'll see. So the strawberry ones, you know, you know they look, they're red. They don't feel soft. The rose ones are kind of weird looking. I don't know if they look like ice cubes, but there's kind of like a white, like uh, ice or snow on top of them or anything. So here, let's, let's do this. Um, I got a, a fork and a spoon because I just don't know if I'm going to need those or not. So I'm going to pop some of these out. Let's see how easy they come out. Oh, cool. All right. Yep, they're kind of um, jello-y. Um, I don't know how else to describe it. They're not like solid ice. They're also not like jiggly jello. Um, they're like a popsicle consistency, I think, would be a good name for it. All right, well, that ought to be okay to start with. And uh, let's do some of these. Oh, they look better from the top. For some reason, the exposed side has this kind of like ice on it. All right, so as a reminder, the red ones are strawberry and the pink ones are rose. The, the pink color, I'm really happy with the way they came out. So I, they're, they're a little bit sticky. I think I might use a spoon. So I'm gonna try the strawberry one first. And I'm gonna try to bite into this because I think that's the, that's the whole thing is that the texture you're supposed to be up when you bite into it is supposed to have a certain texture. So let's see. It's a consistency of popsicle. That's it exactly, the consistency of a popsicle. Now, it doesn't have any of that like, that kind of rubberiness of the jello. And you can you can kind of taste or bite, bite into the ice crystals. You can feel the ice crystals. Let's try one of the, um, let's try one of the rose ones. All right, here we go. There's more ice in this one. The flavor is more subtle in the ice in the rose one. Yeah, it's the consistency of a, like a popsicle. I don't know if it's supposed to be or not. I don't know if we did these right. I just kind of like ch uh, took a few different uh, recipes and checked them out and tried to do them the way we saw them online. They're kind of like popsicles. They're not. It's not like solid blocks of ice, and it's not jiggly jello at the same time. So let's do this. Let's put one of these and one of those together and see what happens. Don't tell me we don't know how to live. Right, here we go. All right. Now, I don't know if it's because it's, it's been exposed to the air and it's melting a little bit. But the red ones, they do kind of like the heart, the inside of it almost does have this jello consistency. So you have this, this kind of crusty, crunchy ice around the outside. And then when you get to the inside, it's like jello. Hmm. So maybe that's the trick. And maybe the trick is that you just, now supposedly these aren't supposed to melt, but um, I'm, I'm seeing like a lot of water in the bottom of these. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. That's it, exactly. You leave them out. So, when I first started eating these, it was just like a popsicle. And you had ice crystals in there like a popsicle. But the longer they're sitting out, 
and sort of melting a little bit, the more they take on that jello consistency. So I think maybe that's the trick. The trick is not to eat them right away, to let them sit out for a, for a couple of minutes. I don't think maybe too long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even these, same thing. And they still have crunchy ice crystals in them though. No, I think the whole thing, originally I think it was a TikTok video, and I think it was kind of a play on the, the Disney movie, Frozen, when we make Frozen Jello. I think it was blue. Um, but, you know, people took it to different degrees. I don't, maybe there isn't the right way to do it. Because like I said, I've seen it online, a whole bunch of different ways to do it. But this is actually pretty good. So, so Haley, thank you. It was a great idea. Thank you so much. And um, these are actually pretty good. So, and, and like I said, the longer they sit out, the more jello-y they become. So they're like a, I've got ice in it. I got jello in it. Really interesting. That's a thumbs up. And it's not like anything earth shattering or, any, or you know anything like that. But it's fun. It's different. Yeah, these are easy to make. You saw me make it. You make it the same way. Um, try something different because, like I said, I've seen different recipes out there calling for different things. Try that and see what happens. Like maybe uh, let it set in the refrigerator for a little bit, then put it in the refrigerator to see what happens. I mean, the freezer and see what happens. There's probably, I think uh, from what Julie told me was that uh, when the girls make it, they make it different each time. And so they get different results, but it's a lot of fun. It's easy to make. You gotta wait for it and everything, but, but it's easy to make. So again, thank you. Another item from our suggestion box done. So if you, uh, if you want me to do something, if you want me to try something different, uh, then if you go to our main page on the YouTube channel and you go to the community tab, you'll see a suggestion box, a post called suggestion box. Just put it in there and uh, hopefully we'll get around to it. So we're, uh, we're in the process of filming a bunch from this week and maybe we'll do yours next. So that'd be nice. So anyways, when you go out and get the stuff for this, just remember that it's crazy out there. So please be careful. Take care of yourselves. Take care of others. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.